Hello, in this video we're gonna see uh, the database structure of Jamilo in a little bit of detail. Uh, this is version, this is the database structure for version 1.11. You can find this schema on the web on GitHub. You go to the Jamilo uh, project and find the Jamilo LMS software and there you go to wiki and you will find an entry called database structure and here this is uh, the link to the image that I'm showing right now. So just so that you understand on a very um, high level uh, view of the database, if you split this schema in two, you have the uh, upper side which represents the global tables, the, all the tables that have to do with stuff that are global inside uh, Camilo. And then global in what sense? Well, in opposition to uh, the tables that are on the lower side, which are related to, to, to all the tools that you can find in the courses in Chamilo. So if I look into more detail the course table you can see um, you can see it here it's basically an ID, a title, uh, a directory because it's related to a directory on the disk and then uh, it's related to a series of stuff. Uh, we've ordered the tables alphabetically depending on the tools so you will find all the announcements, uh, tables and then attendances and then blog and then stuff like that. Okay. Uh, announcements are, is the announcements tool in Chamilo and you can see that we always have a IID and then an CID and an ID. Sometimes, most of the time, we have a session ID as well. What does that mean? Session is a feature in Chamilo, so it's, it's probably empty most of the time unless you use the sessions feature. Um, you have the CID which represents the course in which this a uh, particular resource is available and then you have the ID and this ID is the same most most of the time it's the same as IID why do those two fields exist this is a temporary situation so in version 2.0 of Chamilo this ID field should be gone um, and the IID field uh, is the unique identifier that you should use uh, at the moment so basically it's like that in most of the code it uses the IID but sometimes you will find something that is still attached to the combination of CID and ID because previously this ID field was an identifier of the resource inside the specific course so you had to mix those two values to get a unique key so it was CID plus ID that represented a resource uniquely now uh, we use the EID for that and so uh, the CID will remain to indicate which course it belongs to but the ID field will disappear uh, progressively. So the announcement has the announcements themselves plus the attachments to the announcements. The attendance table uh, is about the attendance tool obviously. The blog uh, table is the, the group of tables from blog is related to the blog feature in Chamilo. You have the calendar event tables. So there, there's a bunch of tables there to manage the repetitions of uh, different events in time. You have the chat table that tells you if a user is currently connected or not inside the course. The course description, that's another tool, say document, another tool, a very big tool. It's actually very simple, the structure that we use for the documents. This is also related to another table called uh, C item property, which is um, a definition of the visibility and a log at the same time. And this is this C item property table will be split in future versions. Uh, to, to isolate those different uh, features because it's uh, creating a bit of a, a high complexity at the moment. And then you have the Dropbox tables for the Dropbox tool, obviously, the form tables, the glossary tool, um, the groups. Groups are the groups inside a course in Chamilo, so they're like uh, working groups that the teacher can form inside the course. 
you have the links table to register the links and those links are divided into categories like the groups and the learning paths the learning path um, tables are related obviously to the learning path tool but uh, to the exception of uh, I mean it's 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 a very specific situation for the learning path tool that the user tracking for inside the learning path is actually stored inside those tables otherwise all the other uh, tracking data are actually stored in those yellow tables here which are the track tables which we're gonna see in a few minutes um, so basically this is an, an exceptional situation those uh, data about the users shouldn't be stored in the CLP di uh, tables but it's been like that historically uh, so we maintained it and we'll try to move them out when uh, whenever we can the notebook table relates to the notebook tool online connected this is related to the chat uh, tool that we've seen uh, before the sequis tables there's a bunch of tables there these are all related to the exercises and all the quizzes and the questions and uh, different answers that they can be for every question so you can find a sequiz answer table related to a sequiz question then you see that quiz questions can be related to exercises but not directly so you can have an exercise with uh, 100 questions and then of these 100 questions some of them are used in other exercises that kind of stuff the resource table is not used anymore uh, to my knowledge at least um, the C roll table is a set of tables related to the user permissions inside the blocks tool mostly um, they're not really used a lot but uh, they've been there for quite some time and then you have the say student publication tables which are related to the task the works the homeworks that students can hand out uh, hand in to their teacher um, the survey tables are related to the survey tool obviously the thematic advance um, tables are related to the tool of the same name wiki same stuff and then user info is mostly a list of tables that uh, do the same kind of job that extra fields do in Chamilo but they're only related to a specific course context so outside of the course context of this, this specific course context those data do not really matter okay so then we we're done viewing the course tools related uh, items that's why we we've indicated here that those are the tables related to course tools now we're gonna see the tables uh, the global tables um, you, you can see that the course tool the uh, sorry the course table is in blue here and most of what's directly related to the course tool is in blue as well uh, in green here you can find the user table and all the things that are related to users and user groups uh, you can find user groups here and then you have the tracking table in yellow so these are the places where uh, stuff like um, user progress uh, is are stored so for example the tra tracky exercise table will store the final score of any student that takes an exercise a quiz or an exam uh, this will be stored somewhere here ex exa result um, while the time that the the user started the exam is stored in exit date um, then you have the duration how many minutes so yeah i think it's minutes are stored here and then you have tracky attempt and those are all the um it's actually badly named uh, those are all the questions that the student had to answer and the answer is actually stored here so every answer given by a, any student in an exercise or an exam is stored in the, the answer field okay so we have also in 
arrange the branching tables this is related to a feature that does not appear in the interface just yet uh, it's uh, related to the possibility to synchronize uh, different Jamilo portals this is something coming up uh, later you have the skills related tables here uh, skills sorry here and so all the yeah all the skills that you will manage in the system they will be stored here and then their relationship with users are stored in this green table here uh, the sequence tables are all things related to a feature that allows you to sequence sessions so that the student cannot enter a session if it didn't finish another one and you can combine the conditions there it's quite complex but uh, these tables store all that data you have the extra field tables the extra field tables are related to uh, yeah extra fields <laughs> uh, additional fields that you can add to a specific data so for example at the moment we support uh, users courses sessions exercises and so you can store extra data that you choose to store um, on those different resources for that we need those uh, tables here then you have um, the hooks tables are mostly for plugins and not really used for anything else and they're pretty much you don't really have to deal with them if you use the, the plugins uh, framework then you it's just gonna be used as is uh, and then you have the gradebook tool the gradebook tables the gradebook tool is actually a tool that was initially uh, global it's been reduced to only the course context so you can find the gradebook tool inside the courses but in the future we want to again make it possible to have gradebooks uh, get out of the single course uh, context and that's pretty much it so uh, if you use multiple url features um, that's those tables here in uh, in like between red and pink um, if you don't use them then you don't need to know what they are you have the sessions tables and then finally all these uh, purple tables are related to uh, stuff that are pretty much here and there in the system the languages tables the settings uh, the administration settings and that kind of stuff that's it i uh, hope you had a good time that uh, you learned a lot from this presentation if you need to ask more questions you can still you can always go to chamilo.org uh, slash forum to access the for the community forum or you can go to github and use the issues tab here to post an issue obviously we usually answer uh, mostly technical questions here but if you if you've looked at this video i guess you're into uh, more technical stuff so that's it let us know if you have any question